We're going to move on now to an exclusive look at a new documentary about teen social media anxiety and depression. It's called Screenagers, the next chapter, and the filmmaker decided to dive back into the topic after she saw her daughter was suffering. Mm. Becky Woolley sat down with both of them, joins us now from San Francisco. Hey, Becky. Good morning, George. It's a story that resonates for all parents. I know this will sound familiar to you. As a parent, I want to support my kids. I ask a million questions. They give one-word answers. And when they finally talk, I somehow say the wrong thing, and it's a huge argument. The maker of the documentary, Screenagers, has made another movie to help us struggling parents find our way. Screenagers, the 2016 documentary about kids and screens, has been shown 9,000 times to more than 4 million people. It's an ongoing movement of what I see as the biggest challenge of parenting right now. All my friends have it. Makes me feel a lot more connected and... Um, to who or what? To the world, to my friends. And the woman who made the movie thought she had her family well in order until her daughter Tessa started to struggle. Dr. Delaney Rustin chronicled what she describes as her daughter's depression and the alarming rise in teen anxiety, depression, and suicide in a new documentary, Screenagers Next Chapter. Getting that diagnosis of like a doctor being, yes, you do have anxiety, that was really validating for me. And a major takeaway, kids who feel like they can't talk to anyone, even their parents. I don't know, I try not to be like emotional in front of her. because. Um, Cause, like I try like to be strong for her. I was amazed um, how many months into her depression, I assumed she was talking to a friend or someone, and she said, "No, I, I haven't told anyone." Tessa tried expressing her feelings on social media. Crickets was almost how it felt to me, who tried so hard to say, "Look, I'm not perfect at all," and they're like, "Oh, we love you. We're here for you." But that didn't cut it. To be on this journey, learning from them. At the film's premiere in Seattle, parents say they see the issues with mental health and screens firsthand. It's like a normal part of being a middle schooler is to talk about panic attacks and being anxious. Their faces are always, you know, in front of that stuff, and that's informing how they view themselves and what is normal around them. But there are solutions. You talk a lot about validation. What does that mean to you? I often just use the phrase, that sounds really hard. And it works wonders. I can just see the aggravation, the sadness kind of melt from her. Some of the things my parents said that really helped in the moments of hardship were, A, you're doing the best you can for where you're at and what tools you have. My mom especially would reiterate that I wouldn't be feeling this way if I had the choice. They need us to listen, to ask open questions, to validate their struggle. And sometimes, George, they just need us to witness the messiness they're going through without offering solutions. All, all good advice. What else do you think parents can do? Well, they said that you should praise teens with specifics, just like when they were toddlers, catch them doing something good. Uh, don't give up on finding ways to limit screen time, even if you think that ship has sailed. Uh, and learn how to tolerate a teen's strong emotions. I think about this, I have to hold my center so my kids can learn to hold theirs. It's yeah, pretty good is, advice. That is often the hardest part right yeah. there. Okay, Becky, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.